What's up guys, Max Tech here, and there it is. It's finally arrived, my on-the-go USB cable. This was one or two pounds, and I'll put the link in the description. You don't need one that's 20 pounds, there's no extra functionality. You can see here, it's got the mini USB to full USB, and let's do some tests on the Nexus 10 to see what it allows us to do. So a few videos ago, I showed you how to connect a PS3 controller to the Nexus 10 via Bluetooth and you know it was kind of complicated it needed root and it needed you to do some stuff um, the on the go cable basically sorts that out completely if you just plug in your controller um, to the tablet via the cable you can see if I press the button get rid of that I'll explain that in a minute um, get rid of the button you can see it just works I didn't have to install anything that six axis control app isn't running it isn't in my memory it just works and it's fantastic you know it doesn't need root to work so if you're unrooted you can just plug it in and go it will obviously work in games I'm not going to show you that now but as long as the game supports game pads it will work no problem and it's that easy guys it doesn't require root it just requires a, a one or two pound cable and you're done so yeah game pads are supported now what most people want to see however is usb storage does it work with usb storage and i've got here a four gigabyte usb stick pretty standard obviously you can get massive ones of these now you can get like 128 gigabyte ones and if it works it'll be great so let me plug it in and show you what it does okay so we'll plug it in just ignore that pop-up for a second because you know, I'll explain it in a minute. But basically, I can tell you that the Google Core 4.2, well, on the Nexus 10 anyway, doesn't seem to support on-the-go USB storage devices. If I go into ES, you can see it's not mounted anywhere. It didn't automatically mount it. Nothing worked. So I did a bit of Googling, and basically, you need an app. Now, if you're unrooted and you want to stay unrooted, you have to pay for an app called Nexus Media Importer. It's one or two pounds. Again, I'll put the link in the description. If you're rooted, however, you can get a free app called Stick Mount, which does exactly the same thing. So we're going to go ahead and try out the Nexus Media Importer for now. You can see it wants to access the USB device. Click yes. And you'll see that we are now in my USB device. This is that device there. And you can see I've got the Walking Dead on it. I can press play. And there you go, it's playing from my USB device. Now, I did also test this on USB hard drives. Why I've got a massive one terabyte one, plugged it in and used this app and the other app and it worked perfectly. So you can use massive storage devices if you want them. Um, I'm just gonna get rid of this app now and show you the other one. I'll disconnect it because I, I like the other one more, um, stick mount, it's free as well. So you can mount just by clicking mount and you can see here, MASH storage device mounted, it finds it for you. You can now open ES, wait for ES to refresh, so we'll open that again. And you can see USB storage is now a folder. You can click into that, click into there, and there's The Walking Dead and all the other crap I've got on my USB drive. And you can do whatever you want from it here, just as you can like a normal USB drive. So you can open stuff, you know, in your right player. And it'll play it perfectly. There's no problems here, guys. It's it's great, great little cable for this. Um, like I said, I have tried my big USB drive, my big USB hard drive, and uh, it worked fantastically. I would I would show you that, but it's all connected, so I can't really be bothered to unconnect it from my main room. But yeah, guys, it works. Now I don't know why Google took out the core functionality of mounting in Android 4.2, but it's not there. But you can get two apps that make it work. Whether you're rooted or unrooted, you can get it to work. And you know, this is awesome really, because imagine you had like 128 gigabyte one of these, you had all your movies and stuff like that on it. And you know, you just had to bring that around with you on holiday, you plug it in, you've still got all your space on there for apps and you can have all your movies and stuff on an external drive. So yeah, guys, it's, uh, it's awesome. And it's definitely worth the cash just for that little cable. So yeah. See you guys there.